<laughs> Did you know that when you buy TIO Home Insurance and combine your buildings and contents on one policy, you can save up to 10%? It's good to know. Get a quote today and see how much you could save. Eligibility criteria and minimum premiums apply. Before buying, read the PDS. Call 131846 or go to our website for a PDS and TMD. TIO, we're for Territorians. Supporting Territory FM. Dealing with insurance companies is not always easy. Boscardo Panel Works will take care of everything. From the time your vehicle arrives in our workshop to the time you drive it away, all the boxes will be ticked. Simply lodge your claim and our team of qualified collision experts will have your damage repaired so flawlessly you'd never know you met by accident. Boscardo Panel Works. Find us on Facebook. Meeting by accident since 1964. Supporting Territory FM. Thank you, Lend NT. You have saved the day again. That's okay, citizen. Lend NT is the first drive away loan provider. Accessible cash within 48 hours. Flexible terms. No sticky credit card checks. Giving you cash when you need it. We're here to help. LendNT.com.au. Supporting Territory FM. Hi, it's Jaden Magro here from Waratah Football Club for RAB. In AFL, there's simply no room for excuses. If I mess up during a game, then I have to cop it. But away from the footy field, some people think excuses are okay, especially when they get caught speeding. Excuses like, I'm late to drop off my child, or I have a cold and when I cough, my foot mashes the pedal. These excuses are just not on. There's no room for excuses in football, and there's definitely no room for excuses on the road. Speeding, there's no future in it. Supported by Territory FM. 1041 listeners continue to grow. And according to the latest McNair results, you're listening on average 9.1 hours per week. Market your brand with us. Marketing at TerritoryFM.com. For sponsors, Joyce Main. Quality experience, local people. Stuart Highway, Berrimer. I'm out of hoors. Residents in Victoria's worsted flood areas are being warned it could take up to three years to completely repair roads and bridges. Parts of the state are preparing to be inundated yet again. The Murray River is expected to peak at its highest level since 1993 on Thursday. Municipal Association of Victoria President David Clark says flooding has already left a trail of destruction. Things like the road repair and that type of stuff, that could easily be 12 months or more. And as I said, maybe even two or three years. In New South Wales, 180 ADF personnel are being brought in, mostly in the West, to relieve SES volunteers. Singapore has offered Australian authorities assistance following the Optus cyber security breach. The telco is a fully owned subsidiary of Singtel. 10 million Optus accounts were compromised when its systems were hacked. A comprehensive review has been launched into the design, operation and sustainability of the NDIS. Next Tuesday's budget is expected to show the scheme will cost an extra $9 billion over the next four years. We're being urged to use our voice to encourage fashion brands to operate ethically and sustainably. A report has given 120 clothing companies a score out of 100 for their ethical standards. The average score is just 29. Baptist World Aid Corporate Advocacy Specialist Bonnie Graham says consumers can make a difference. If you log on to the Baptist World Aid website, we've made it really easy for consumers to do that this year. You can access scores for almost 600 brands on our online brand finder. And then use the Speak Out to Brands tool to send a really easy pre-written email to brands asking them to do better. A class action has been launched on behalf of the owners of diesel-powered Toyotas. Madden's lawyers says they are alleging hundreds of thousands of vehicles sold to Australian consumers had design elements which tamper with emission controls to enhance performance. An alert has been issued in WA after a crocodile attack at a waterfall in the Kimberley. A man was reportedly bitten on the head while crabbing at Horizontal Falls but wasn't seriously hurt. Parks and wildlife officers say the croc has been following and launching itself at small boats in the area. A Brisbane school is assuring parents their children are safe following reports students receive threats of a possible shooting. Two people have been arrested at a protest of an oil and gas conference at the Adelaide Convention Centre and beekeepers in Varroa Mite surveillance zones are now eligible to receive payments of up to $290 per hive. To sport and WA has scored a hefty 466 in the first innings of their Sheffield Shield clash against Victoria in St Kilda. 
Pat Cummins has been handed his second captaincy by Cricket Australia. He'll replace Aaron, Aaron Finch as skipper of the one-day side. The Illawarra Hawks have slumped to a third straight loss in the NBL. They've been thrashed 88-62 by the New Zealand Breakers. And 10 Aussies will be on display when the new NBA season begins tomorrow in the States. And that is the latest in news and The gigantic new block is here. Fasten your seatbelts because you're in for a ride. Over four must-see nights. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday on Channel 9. This is my place. The block goes off. Boom. Channel 9. Supporting Territory FM. Boom. Drive starts now. With a Territory FM 3 o'clock super set. If you've never done one, you're not a local. Good afternoon, Darwin. How are you? Back in the chair, it's Matt. On Drive here at 104.1 Territory FM. First thing we do is kick off with a super set. Three songs from one of your favourite bands or singers. And Susan in Darwin City is after the PSB, the Pet Shop Boys from England. They're a synth pop band formed in London back in 1981. They've been on the radio that long. Uh, mainly consisting of Neil and Chris as the duo. They've sold more than 50 million records worldwide. They were listed as one of the most successful duos in UK music history back in the early noughties. Three times when it comes to Brit Awards, six times Grammy nominees, and since 1984, listen to this, they've achieved 42 top 30 singles. 22 of them have been top 10 hits in the UK, including four number ones, including West End Girls, which was a massive song. Susan, here we go. 